Hello friends, how are you? It's Kaushiki here and today we are going to talk that what if your colposcopy findings are suggestive of LSIL which is low grade squamous intraepithelial lesion or HSIL which is high grade squamous epithelial lesion. So if you have got LSIL and there is presence of HPV in that case you immediately don't need colposcopy you can get your cst screening done like the testing of the human papilloma virus as well as the cells can be done in 6 to 12 months time and majority of the time the low squamo epithelial lesion just vanishes away with time if you don't have human papilloma virus you don't need to do anything now coming to the condition if in case we detect in the cervical biopsy that you have got high grade squamo epithelial lesion. So if the pap smear suggests high grade changes you will have colposcopy. When you have colposcopy a biopsy will be taken by the doctor. The biopsy will be taken to the lab. If the biopsy also suggests that you have got high grade changes it will say CIN2 or CIN3 right which will be cervical intraepithelial cervical intraepithelial neoplasia grade 2 or cin3 which is grade 3 so if, if if suppose that is what the cervical biopsy report has come even then don't panic because the cervical cancer doesn't happen overnight it is only after the human papilloma virus has been acquired and it has persisted in your body for seven, eight, nine years. Only after that, you can expect the changes to start happening, which can lead to cervical cancer. So it's a, it's a long uh, time that it takes and it gives you a lot of time. So nothing to panic, but then of course you need to follow your gynecologist. And there are so many times that gynecologists say that you have got high grade changes, particularly in um, Indian setting where there is no, uh, you know well-defined guidelines for managing uh, CINs they can suggest you hysterectomy it is quite commonly done but you don't need to do hysterectomy if you wish to get it done you can get it done but then you have got um, less invasive options available so what's that so CIN2 and CIN3 your gynecologist can give you option of LEDs L-L-E-T-Z what does it mean large loop excision of your transformation zone so cervix has got a structure which is called transformation zone and large loop as the name suggests then there's a loop there's a loop made of metal which is connected to electricity and the electric current passes through that loop and it is used to suppose if this is your cervix the loop will be used to shave off the uppermost layer of your cervix vaginally and though it's a minor procedure usually done under sedation or anesthesia so it's done and the uppermost layer of the cervix which has got the abnormal changes which is cin2 or cin3 it is taken off so and then it is sent for histopathological examination as well the tissue to confirm that there was no uh, you know small hidden malignancy or cancer anywhere which we missed and it was cin2 and cin3 only and this is your treatment after that you will get your pap smear not the pap smear is the old terminology cst cervical screening test done after 12 months where again the smear is taken in which it is tested whether human papilloma virus is present or not whether there is any abnormal cell present or not if there is if, if the legs cured it totally you don't need to anything do anything you go back to uh, the five yearly screening program but if in case if it is still persisting based on what type of hpv is present what type of changes are still there your management would be decided by the gynecologist but definitely hysterectomy is not the first step for it but if in case somebody keeps on having the these um uh, CIN2 or 3 changes again and again and again which doesn't happen very often but if it keeps on happening and somebody has completed one's family hysterectomy can be an option but it should not be the first line option also particularly in uh, young ladies who 
have not yet completed families or even if they have completed families let's is what is the preferred method of treating cyan 2 and 3 obviously if there is malignancy or cancer then obviously it becomes a totally different game and we are not addressing it in this particular video i hope that you got some insight into how a uh, abnormality which is precancerous which is cyan 1 2 or 3 or lsi or hsil is treated if in case you are still not clear on certain point feel free to put it down in the comment section and i will be more than happy to either answer you directly or to make a separate video on it till we meet next time have a great week ahead and in our next video we shall be talking about what are the factors which leads to acquisition of human papilloma virus and cervical cancer and can we do something in our lifestyle which can help us in preventing cervical intraepithelial neoplasias and cervical cancers